during this time of the year, it's pretty common for sales to be a lot slower, whether you're dealing with e-commerce sales, whether you're dealing with brick and mortar. Basically across the country, everybody is experiencing a slowdown in terms of consumer spending. And not to mention, we're also still in the middle of a recession, whether or not people want to admit it. However, since I am a more experienced seller and I've been selling on eBay for the past eight years full time, this is no surprise to me. And I try to always prep myself for during this time of the year by carrying certain items in my store that sells consistently all year round. So in today's video, I'm going to share some of those items that sold just so that you guys know exactly what's selling on eBay right now, what people are picking up more consistently. That way, hopefully, if you're out there in thrift stores or at garage sales, you can kind of keep your eyes open to see if you can find some of these stuff and hopefully boost up some of your sales. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first is this Bose Sound Dock Series 2 speaker. I actually sold two of these in the last 90 days and two of them actually sold to one person. So I'm not sure if they actually was buying them to resell them themselves, probably uh, doing that eBay to Amazon thing that a lot of people are doing. I'm actually going to make a video on that pretty soon because that's something I'm trying to get involved in as well. But able to sell these Bose speakers for 80 bucks, mainly because I had the remote and the power supply. Now, sometimes I come across just the power supplies and thrift store. Sometimes I might just find the speaker with nothing else. And then sometimes I'm I just find the remote for one of these uh, sound docks as well. So I usually always try to pick up separate pieces anytime I can and I'll always just bundle it all together because it always adds some more value and for those that are specifically buying it for themselves people are willing to spend a little more money if they know they can get the remote and the power supply and they won't have to buy them separately. But as a whole Bose is a really really good brand to so just always be on the lookout for. Older Bose, newer Bose, they always sell pretty. Next up is this Google Nest Carbon monoxide smoke alarm and anytime I find these I'm always selling these for at least between 50 to 80 bucks this one in particular sold for 80 bucks with free shipping and this one was basically brand new I think it was just open box but I just sold it as pre-owned so this one sold for 80 bucks I remember spending five dollars on this they actually just had this in a bag in the thrift store with all of the parts the screws the wires everything that I needed and it sold within about two weeks so this is a really good sale anything Google I usually try to pick it up whether it's a a Google smoke alarm or even if it's like a modem or a router or a Wi-Fi extender I usually always pick those types of stuff up because they usually sell pretty quickly and these are the type of items that people are searching for all year round so definitely be on the lookout for these next up is this Yamaha receiver and I love selling receivers and amplifiers and a lot of these bigger items because most people when they're at thrift stores or even at garage sales people tend to shy away from picking up more bigger heavier items mainly because they might be afraid to ship it they might not have the box for it but for me I usually always pick them up if I can get them for a good price and I usually try to spend anywhere between 20 and 40 bucks for these this one I spent 15 bucks for it and this one sold for a hundred bucks and I charged 28 dollars for shipping um, next time I'm actually going to start charging calculated shipping based on where the person is because this person was actually on the east coast i believe this went all the way to florida so i spent about 35 bucks in terms of shipping so it definitely did i took a l in terms of that but overall i did make a decent amount of profit because i didn't have to spend too much in terms of my buy cost and this particular model the yamaha v675 this one took a little longer to sell it took maybe about two months for this one to sell and i was actually asking a little more money but once i actually lowered the price after the first 30 days and ended up selling right after I lowered the price. Right now for me, I'm usually having to run a ton of sales or just go into a lot of my listings and lower the prices. And since I did that one for this, it ended up selling. Next up, we got some DJ equipment and this is the type of stuff that I love to sell. I actually found this for only $7 and I was actually really excited about it because the day I picked this up, I got to the thrift store really late. And anytime I get there late, all of the good stuff are basically passed up. But I guess people just didn't know what this was. But this one is actually from Serato. It's called the Hercules DJ Control. And this one was in really, really good shape. It even had the USB cable and a nice case with it as well. And this one sold for 70 bucks plus shipping. And I only spent $6.99 for this. So this was a steal. And it sold within about three weeks of picking it up. So this is also the type of stuff that I love selling. I love selling audio equipment, especially things from Serato, uh, Shure, Yamaha. Those types of things I just love selling because they usually sell pretty well and those types of audio equipment they usually hold their value I think when this came up it was probably well over a hundred bucks this is definitely more of an older model but these types of stuff always sell pretty well for me and just as a pro tip you always want to make sure that
sure that you're including a little USB cable with these because if it doesn't come with one, most buyers are going to have to, you know, either use one that they currently already have or they're going to have to buy one separately. But for me, anytime I'm selling things that need a USB cable, I always try to include it with that just to make my listing stand out and just to make the buyer not have to, you know, worry about needing any additional accessories. And I actually found a whole bag of Simply Safe alarm products. So I ended up parting all of it out. This one is the extra siren security system for Simply Safe. And this one sold for 50 bucks with uh, 650 in terms of shipping. And this was actually brand new in the box. So I listed it as brand new and it sold really quick. I think it sold within about three days of me listing it. So always be on the lookout for things like this because when it comes to setting up alarm systems, um, you can actually just purchase all of the pieces individually, even if it's used and just kind of add it to your at home security system. So people are doing that all day long. I know buying the actual pieces separately are super expensive. So definitely be on the lookout for alarm system stuff because they always sell for me pretty well especially Simply Safe products. Next up, we got this Guitar Hero guitar, and this one is actually for the Nintendo Wii. And anytime I find these, I usually always grab them up. I remember there was a time when I would see these pretty often in thrift stores, and I would, you know, see people kind of fight over them or try to grab them really quick. And I never understood why, because for me, I was kind of afraid to ship them. But at the same time, now that I realized how to ship these safely, I've been shipping them out all year long. I usually sell these anywhere between like 40 to as much as 120 depending on uh, which console it's for. Usually the PlayStation and the Xbox ones sell for a little more money. Buy cost is usually anywhere between like four to eight bucks. Usually I don't spend more than that. Another pro tip is that I always try to include a strap. So sometimes I might buy, you know, a couple guitars and they might not have the strap. And then I might go into a thrift store another day and I might just find a bag of just Guitar Hero straps for like two bucks and I'll just always try to include the straps and the back covers to always just add a little more value to the Guitar Hero guitars because they usually always bring in a decent amount of profit. Next up we got this Rode Video Mic Pro and this one was just something else that I love selling. This is actually some I guess you can call it audio slash camera equipment but I love selling older cameras, older audio equipment, just things that people are going to be using especially creators. So this one sold for 65 bucks. I actually found two of these Rode microphones Phones. but since it was such a good microphone I decided to keep it for myself but this was a crazy day I remember finding both of these in the bag and they were both uh, $4.99 for both microphones. So that was a crazy, crazy deal. I ended up selling this one for 65 bucks. This one took about three weeks for it to sell. Um, I didn't have the battery that it needed for this one. I was able to test it, but I didn't include the battery for this. But I would probably include a battery next time if I do find something like this. That might help it sell a little bit faster because the type of battery that this one needed, I think it was size D or size C, those batteries are a little more expensive. So I realized just looking at the previous sales that most people that will sell in this microphone they all included a battery one of my favorite things to sell is actually this netgear orbi router and i actually love selling these anytime i can find them uh usually when i do find them they're usually in a set my buy cost i usually try to keep it somewhere between five and fifteen bucks depending on how many are included and i usually will always part them out i never sell it as a complete set mainly because i can make some more money if i part them out sell the router and I sell the modem separately and these usually sell pretty quickly for me and this is also something that I always try to bundle with the ethernet cable and the power supply just so that I can add a little more value and just make it easier for the buyer to choose my listing over the hundreds of other listings that's basically out there but the sell through rate on these Orbi routers are really really good I think they're well over a hundred percent so anytime I find these I usually sell them for anywhere between like 40 to as high as about 60 to 70 bucks depending on the model Model. This one sold for 50 bucks because it was the V2 version, so definitely keep that in mind. But for me, selling things like modems, selling things like audio equipment, I sell these types of stuff all year round, and it just kind of makes my store a lot more consistent, a lot more stable. And since I made the transition to selling more electronics as opposed to selling more clothing, I just enjoy selling on eBay a lot more because when it comes to listing, it, it doesn't take as much time. And when it comes to shipping it out and packing everything up to go, it really doesn't take that much time either and just to answer a quick question that I usually always get anytime I talk about selling electronics uh, people are usually nervous about selling electronics on eBay because of the return rate 
my return rate has always been really, really low. And that's mainly because I just try to test everything to the best of my ability before I actually ship it out. I try not to sell things that don't work. And I usually try to always pack things up with bubble wrap or like padded envelopes just to make sure that it arrives safely. So speaking of shipping out items safely, I actually just made a video about a recent mistake that I made. And it actually ended up being in my favor because the buyer didn't ship it back to me in the condition that I shipped it out to them. So if you're interested in this super expensive mistake that I made, check it out here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.